Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rohit Kurana, host on Click Digest, and today we are going to give you a quick hands-on of the new features that you get on the Nokia Windows Phone 8.1 platform. Some of the major features include the start screen enhancements. The start screen now allows you to have three rows of tiles. Doesn't matter if you have a Nokia 1320 or 1520, you don't need a large screen device. On the smaller screen device also, you can turn on this feature. All you need to do is to go in settings, in settings go to theme settings. There you can turn on the setting to show more tiles. In that case, it will add one additional row of tiles on your Windows Phone device. Yes, it makes the tiles look smaller, but nevertheless you have an option of turning it on or off depending on your taste. You can also set transparent tiles with background. So if you have some picture which you really like, maybe your family, your friend, your car or some of your favorite scene, you can set it in background and some of the tiles which are transparent tiles will see through and will show you the background that you set. Next important feature is the action center. The action center is nothing but the quick toggles which you can access from any screen just swipe from the top and you can get some quick toggles. This can be toggles to turn on or turn off certain features or settings or you can also quickly go to some applications like camera from quick toggles. The calendar has also been improved on the Microsoft Windows Phone 8.1 platform. Now the calendar is neater and gives you quick and easy access by swiping through the screens. You can go to the next day, the previous day. You can set the day view, month view, week view in just click of a button and it's very easy and very intuitive. There is another very interesting feature which is called word flow which is nothing but the swiping keyboard or continuous input keyboard. Now it has been integrated with Windows Phone and it works seamlessly. The typing is really fast and very easy. There are four sense features called the data sense, battery saver, storage sense and Wi-Fi sense. I'll talk about them one by one. The data sense features allows you to use data more efficiently by compressing the data over the network. This will mean lower data bills as well as faster browsing. The battery saver on the other hand will save some battery when you are running low on juice. You can turn off some of the features. You can use it through the battery saver and you can decide what all will run and what all will not run when the battery saver mode is enabled. Storage sense is another interesting feature in which it allows you to place certain applications on SD card and certain on the internal memory card, making some more free space on the internal memory so that you can use it more efficiently. The Wi-Fi Sense is another interesting feature which allows you to share your Wi-Fi settings. You can share these settings securely and they will not be able to see the passwords of your networks and it will share with certain number of friends which you choose to share it with. Another useful feature is syncing of content, be it a Windows 8 PC, be it a Windows 8 tablet or your Windows 8 phone device. So if you change the theme on one of your device, it will be synced on your other device as well. This is fairly interesting and cool. It gives you a more integrated feel when you are using Windows devices. There are a few features which are business centric which have been added like use of a VPN network, enhanced MDM capabilities which are more of enterprise feature. They are MIME support, certificate authentication, remote wipe or selective wipe which is now provided on the Windows Phone 8.1 platform. This is all we have on a quick hands-on tour of the Windows Phone 8.1 and what all you get with the Windows Phone 8.1 new features. We hope you like this video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up by pressing the like button below. For more such videos, stay subscribed by pressing the subscribe button. This is your host Rohit Kurana signing off. Thanks for watching.